Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Today we're checking out the Aura from Serpents. It is a sequential switch, it is a bank of sliders, it is a clock divider, it is many things. And it's really cool, I really like it. I'm going to do this demo a little bit differently to how I usually do, rather than just recording a bunch of things and kind of talking through them. I thought I'd just dive straight into some patching and do my best to talk coherently throughout. <laughs> we'll see how we go. I'll probably have to edit out a bunch of stupid shit that I say. But anyway. So, Ara, sequential switch. Five steps. You can use sequential switches in either direction. You can use it as five input to one output or one input to five output. And the switching scrolls through them sequentially. Hence the name. Makes sense, right? To do that though, you need a clock, which I'm providing here. It can also just be a trigger sequence, doesn't have to be a steady clock. And Aura is different because it gives you dedicated voltage sliders over each step, so you don't actually have to provide an input for it. That said, you can provide inputs at any of the five steps. You also have dedicated outputs for these sliders, which means you can use them just as controllers to control anything in your system. You can change the range of these sliders from minus five to plus five or zero to plus five. You've also got dedicated gate outputs along the side here for each step and you've also got an all output which is all the gates together. So let's get stuck into some patching. I've got just a five step sequence set up. I'm not using any inputs yet. I've just got a steady clock feeding to it. Uh, I've got my SWN going through the Serpent Sirius, which I've also demoed, you can find that on my channel, I'll link it up above. And then it's just going into the mixer with some reverb, nothing crazy. That's what it sounds like with the filter open. Close it down while we're patching around. So a five step sequencer isn't that exciting, yet. We can make it more interesting. So. I've got no envelopes or anything happening yet, so let's uh, take that signal and put it through a VCA. I've got the dope for 1422 here, which it's a VCA with inbuilt envelopes, so I just need a gate signal. So what I'm gonna do is grab a couple of these gates. Let's try one and three. There we go, now we've got something with a bit of dynamics. And we should probably also trigger a envelope to control the filter. That's pretty standard, right? Pretty standard behavior, let's do that. So just grab this, I've got another envelope module, it's probably out of the frame, but we'll use the second gate to trigger a envelope. Take the output of that and take it to Sirius. All right, I've got a slightly more interesting sequence now. What else can we do? Well, we've got a reset thing here, so we could reset that to create some odd divisions. Yeah, well, that's something, maybe not anything amazing. So let's try something else, let's try another one. Well, that's boring, isn't it? Let's try something else again. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's throw an LFO at one of these inputs. So let's try this one. So you can hear that step changing pitch now. Maybe let's try the first step. Oh, by the way, I'm using the SWN because it has an inbuilt uh, pitch quantizer. Just means I don't have to run it through a pitch quantizer and clutter up the frame with another module in use. So we could actually throw another LFO to another step if we want to create more of a more of an evolving sequence. I'm going to attenuate this one. A 
too much. Let's crank up the reverb a bit, eh? Let's change up our filter envelope. So that's kind of nice, I think. What else can we do? Well, we still haven't used the clock divider here. How about rather than using that as a clock divider, we use it as a sub octave generator because that's kind of an alternative use for a divider because you know, you're dividing the signal, you feed it audio, then it's gonna result in octaves. So I'll grab the other side of my SWN, crank up this one, put that in here. So just quickly, the uh, clock divider can be used to divide the signal that you're using to control the switch, or you can provide it its own input. So it can be used as a standalone clock divider. It's not, it's not locked to the clock that's being used for the switch. So if I take an output from here now, oop, need a longer cable. Let's try this one. There we go. So I've just put it through another filter. And as you can hear, we've now got an octave down. Oh, actually two octaves down, I think. We can probably go lower again. Cool. So you'll probably get some tracking glitches when you use a clock divider as a sub-octave generator. I'll open the filter so you can hear. But I kind of like it, it gives you kind of a, a characterful thing. Now how about we use, we've still got a couple of gate outputs, how about we trigger another envelope to be used on that baseline. We'll use the, let's go the fifth one. Plug that into my filter. Ooh, that's not bad. All right, what else can we do? So, when you have something plugged into the inputs of ARA, you actually override its corresponding slider. So that actually means that you can use the direct out of that slider to control anything in your system without affecting the sequence, which is pretty cool. Let's try it into the wavetable here. Actually, we'll go to this one. Yep, <laughs> and you can hear the clock divider struggling to track that signal now. sound like utilized in some other way hmm what can we do I wonder if we could send it to the external in of elements and perhaps we'll get something cool out of its resonator tune element. 
notes as Resonator, but we'll give it a go on the fly. Yeah, I kind of like how it's adding that little something. Hey, and you know what we could do? We've still got that fourth step gate output. So how about we put it through a VCA? So we'll grab that fourth one. adjusting some steps. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. that's probably as far as I'll take this demo. That went pretty well, I think. I think I actually managed to do a patch that was okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Ara. The Ara is either available now or will be shortly available. I'm not sure where they're up to with their latest production run, but um, it's a great module. I really like it. I like that it's a multi-function module that kind of encourages creativity. It doesn't have a set function. It's just like a bunch of stuff put together that you've got to figure out how to use in your system. All right, cool. Well, thanks for joining me on that. I hope you got something out of it and I successfully demonstrated how you might use it. Check out the other Serpents videos and other demos on my channel. Chuck me a subscribe if you're that way inclined. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.